<laughs> but sometimes it look like a butt, you know. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your Farzana and Assalamualaikum. Hope you guys are doing well. So today is our first, my first, uh, face to face interview. Um, who is this? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so today um, um we are actually going to share with you more about ITE, one of ITE courses, and here with us we have Safina. That guy, that <laughs> you make sure you don't regret how I put that. Okay, so basically most of you guys might have seen Safira a couple of times. She appeared quite a number of times like in my YouTube video. So um I actually wanted to make this as a series but I've not been finding a lot of people to interview. So I have Safira today to share more about her NITEC in hospitality operations. So let's kick start the question of How's ITE life so far? <laughs> uh, I <ITE laughs> Okay, sorry. Okay, ITE life so far is like um can be difficult at times ah, like be because of the modules. Mm -hmm. But it's okay ah, quite chillax. Quite chillax. Actually, can be chillax, can be hard. Can be hard. Can be chillax. Yeah. Can be hard. Okay, okay. Woof ah, woof. 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 Okay, well, okay, so since today we will talk more about NITEC in hospitality operations So some of them might not know what is that So like what is the module that you are currently taking or you have taken before? So <coughs> a module that I'm currently taking is called restaurant operations And this module teaches us like how to work Basically like how to work when you are in the outside world lah. Mm -hmm. There is like restaurant service there's like cafe service or something like that something like that there's three outlets that we will be thrown to one is at thrown <laughs> to <laughs> two of the outlets is at ITE West and the other one is at ITE Central the ITE Central one is called Delhi or at ITE West is Amber West and Crema West yeah mm. so I've worked at Delhi and Amber West only. I've never got crema before, but I think next year I can get it. Hopefully, because I want to. So do you have like a picture of you doing stuff? So you can insert here. I think have ah, but, but I was dabbing in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna put a picture of Safira doing stuff here. Okay, so um, like, what is your favorite moment during your the uh, restaurant operation? Mm. At Delhi, it's just like, I like to make drinks. Mm. Like, doing barista work is very fun. I like it. Because I like to do latte art. That's cool. But That's I, cool. I can only do one art only, which is heart. Which is a heart. Then it crap. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes it look like a butt, you know? <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, okay. But then. other than that, mm, free food. But actually okay. need, need to pay lah But if after the service Have nothing else Like no more customers And then got extra food You can bring back home mm. But then at Amber West It's like very stressful lah Cause it's restaurant service Then they accept public people So like There will be a lot of customers Then we have The hardest thing at Amber West is Doing like Taking the food back Eh like You Return. Clear clear the food from their table That's mm -hmm. the hardest Cause sometimes when I clear right the, Cause the plate is like weirdly shaped then Like circle then like, or like what? No it's like very weird Very weird I swear to god Do you have a picture? <laughs> <laughs> I will ask you I don't, I don't know I need search ah. I think I don't have Okay but anyways right The the plate is like so weird mm -hmm. Then the cutlery also like Come out come out of it So it drop Oh Yeah it got dropped drop before minus point, Drop minus point no, no, no. no, but then they say when you say that you have like to you have to take the dishes back, like the cutleries back, did it teach you on how to like you know assemble yeah. like plates, then yeah. stack them? Yeah. Like they, they teach us. We have oh. to hold like this. Yeah. I think okay. Let's take let's okay. take this. Okay, this you don't use the plate, ah. Uh. You don't use the plate, you have to hold like that. Oh your three fingers at the back, then two is at the front. Then your other plate will be on top here. Oh wow! Yeah. How can they have like ever dropped? Okay, I mean, I mean, I've never. I've never in my life. Balance queen, <laughs> but utensils got dropped before. Who's the utensils are very, like small. Yeah, but it's cool. Like, 
Yeah, but some the plates are very heavy, mm-hmm. so like I have to like shush, you know, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. So <coughs> then, apart from your restaurant operations, is there anything else that you went through? Hmm. Ah. Uh, this is talking me about um wine. Uh, yeah, ah, this is very controversial, lah. Oh, Zabina <laughs> doing wine. <laughs> okay, share, share, share. No, okay. <laughs> beverage and wine is basically you learn about cocktails and mocktails, lah. I learned how to make cocktails that time. Mm-hmm. Of course, cannot drink. Haram. <laughs> Haram. Haram. <laughs> Haram. But yeah, but mm, the process of doing it is fun, lah. But mm. the exam, like theory exam, is boring. Oh really? Boring. But it's easy, but boring. Easy like boring. the learning process of the theory yeah. is boring, lah. Ah, uh, that means I know like some people when they do mocktail or cocktail, like sh- sh- yeah, they shake. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. what was like one thing that you mastered? Your favorite cocktail or mocktail? Uh, <laughs> I don't have a favorite. But I only can remember one name one, of one cocktail. What is it? Singapore Sling. <laughs> Singapore Sling. I, I don't think you thought that one is it. Okay, but anyways, uh, okay. So if you guys want to know more about what are the different modules um in NITEC in hospitality operations. The link is in the description box and also you can scan the QR code on the screen right now. Okay, so my last last question for Zafira, um, what is at ad- one advice that you like to tell anyone who's might be considering to take your course? Hmm, if you guys are legit considering my course, you guys have to be very committed. Oh, because it's like it's basically like almost a like a job like the in the outside world like part time job full time job all, is what you will learn in that course. Mm. So like it's very like serious ah like very serious cannot play play ah cannot, cannot play play cannot play play, play. They play you out lah yeah <laughs> need to be very committed guys mm. you must dab <laughs> dab dab your whole life we dab together lah <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, okay other than that mm. just think about it first lah before you mm. join but it's a fun course you get to learn a lot of things like barista wine if you like. To do, so you, you know, you know, yeah. Uh, learn about food also and how to like, you know, serve people in a restaurant. All that lah. Mm, okay, okay, that's nice. Okay, so, uh, thank you so much, Zafira, for being with us. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy uh, her sharing. And if you guys want to know more about NITEC in hospitality operations, you can just drop your questions at the comment section of below. DM Zafira or even DM me if you <laughs> can't reach <image> Zafira. <laughs> or you can just go straight to ITE's um, website to find out more about the course. So that's all for today. Thank you so much. <laughs> and thank you so much for you guys watching. <laughs> and see you in the next video. Bye! Wow, that, that, that. <laughs> I've been changing up my